Hi guys, uh, I had an absolutely fantastic day's uh, wildlife photography uh, in Norfolk um, a couple of weeks ago. I was exploring some of the wilder areas of Norfolk and um, as you can see the, the light was fantastic. In the morning you can see these geese were bathed in golden early morning light and um, I know this video is mainly about bird photography and that's what the thumbnail sort of um, uh, describes. But also, even before I really almost started uh, the day, I got this lovely um, hare in a frosty field on the way to my first sort of wildlife location. So that was a superb start to the day. Then I spent the morning on a couple of Norfolk beaches and got some decent photographs. But it was the afternoon where uh, I really, really had a, a fantastic time. Um, lots of great uh, species to photograph, lots of great wildlife photography. So that's all coming up uh, and I hope you enjoy this video. Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm on the Norfolk coast um, today and um, I'm out looking for new locations for a, um, a wildlife photography course that I'm running um, later on in the year. So I'm having a really good old explore and uh, I've had a look at um, some beach areas and now I've come to a salt marsh. And um, I used to run or have run a landscape uh, photography courses here in the past and I've always noticed there's a, a decent amount of waders and, and other birds around so I thought I'd come back and explore but look at it from a, a wildlife point of view and um, uh, so I'm I'm going to keep an open mind but I know in the past I've seen godwits and red shanks and stuff like that I've also seen marsh harriers uh, overhead so this could be a really good area for wildlife now um, the tide's not in, which generally you want an incoming tide, uh, but I was uh, at the beach earlier and, and I had a, a higher tide then, so you can't have you know, the tide in the right place for all the locations. So I'm just going to have a look uh, around to see what turns up and uh, anything good I'll put on the end of this video. So bye for now guys. Hi guys, um, yeah, it's, it's been really good so far. Uh, I've had an amazing hour or so, and at the moment, um, just about to come through on this um, this tidal creek, there's a load of red shanks uh, and a couple of curlews and a bar-tailed godwit again. So I'm just gonna wait until they come to, towards me. Uh, I've still got light on the far bank. Now, I'd rather be right down at the bottom of the bank and, and be much lower, but the fact of the matter is, um, it's, I don't want to scare them off, firstly, and secondly, it's really slippery and I haven't got my wading, waders, I've just got my wellingtons. So I'm going to have to um, accept that I can't get a perfectly low shot, uh, but it's still going to look quite nice, especially when they come up the other side of the bank. So I've got shots with them coming through the main channel, which is great because there's lovely reflections. And then when they come up onto the bank, they're about eye level anyway, so it's, it's all good. So. Uh, I'm going to have to be quiet now because they're just about to come down and uh, yeah, I'll speak to you in a little while. I've, I've also got some teal coming down as well, so they're really nice ducks. Uh, and the light is absolutely fantastic. It's uh, it's behind my shoulder, so it's shining right onto the animals. I'm getting really nice catch lights in the eyes, uh, and uh, the light's fantastic. So uh, yeah, it's great.
Well, I'm nearly done now. Um, the sun is just about to pop behind uh, the, or underneath the horizon. The light's gone, or it's almost gone, so I'm gonna call it a wrap. But I've had a really good hour and a half. It's been very productive. Um, now, the shots, not all of them um, are perfect because I couldn't get as low as I wanted on, on some of them. But, well, from just the, the point of view of the amount of species and the amount of action, it's been unbelievably productive. And I've got some nice shots as well. So I've got red shanks, I've got curlew, I've got Bartel godwits, uh, I've got lapwings, uh, some teal, and it's been brilliant. And uh, the godwits were feeding along this channel. I've got some lovely reflections in really good light. I've got stills and I've got footage. And it was brilliant actually because um, at one point I was photographing curlews and uh, a couple of curlews just popped up. And I knew it wasn't me because I was still and, and reasonably distant. So uh, I didn't spook them. And that really puts you on alert because sometimes if um, uh, waders come up unexpectedly and take flight it means there's a predator uh, around and there was it was either a buzzard or a marsh harrier I'm not quite sure I need to have a look back at the back of the camera but I think it was a buzzard anyway whichever it was it popped up fairly close to me and I got some really nice shots of that as well so it's been superb I have to say uh, and as a wildlife location I think this is is really good and I will certainly be bringing people back it's just been brilliant and I've probably got um, my best curlews in flight as well because I've photographed curlews in flight before but it's always been in poor light you know fairly dull conditions whereas this time I've had golden light right on the curlews so it's been absolutely superb and the pictures always look sharper when you've got that good quality light so um, all in all what a cracking afternoon um, so yes I hope you enjoyed this I will probably put some pictures and footage on before this bit to camera and then I'll put some on afterwards so I hope you've enjoyed it so far and as always, if you have enjoyed it and you haven't already subscribed, if you can think about subscribing, that would be great. And if you can give the video a like, a thumbs up, that always helps my channel. And then last but not least, if you've got any great wildlife experiences you'd like to share, just drop them in the comment section below. It's always great to hear what you're all up to. So uh, uh, yeah, bye for now guys. I'll speak to you on the next video. Uh, thanks for watching, obviously.